So you've gotten on the computer, booked yourself some tickets to the Disneyland Resort, and you're ready to head off to Disney's California Adventure. But before you call your friends and head off to the parks, first let's talk about something that's very important. That's right, today we're going to talk about the most popular rides in Disney's California Adventure Park, so let's get started. Let's start right away with the fifth most popular ride on this list. This should be a really big clue to you, but if you still don't know what it is, I'll tell you right now. It's Soarin'. Soarin' Over California was a very popular ride right from the get-go. With its aviation theming and sensory technologies, park goers have been lining up to board this ride from day one of the park's opening. And whether it's soaring over California during the springtime or soaring over the world for the rest of the year, you can expect the same sensations of flying through the air in a multi-sensory experience that was cutting edge when it was introduced. But it still entertains and amazes people to this day. Many people choose to rope drop Soren, so the wait time usually doesn't stay low for too long in the morning, but standby will also not get incredibly too high throughout the day unless it's a really busy day at the park. Nice work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party to arrive with you. Soren also offers Rider Swap and Genie Plus Lightning Lane, so if you want to skip the lines altogether, you can shell out some bucks for that. Now once you're on the ride, you'll experience the feeling of flying as your feet dangle and you visit all kinds of fun destinations. But no matter where you go, you always end up coming right back to the happiest place on earth. On to number four. Have you figured it out yet? How about now? Does this help? That's right, it's the Incredicoaster. The Incredicoaster is a roller coaster that covers almost the entire span of Pixar Pier in the back of DCA and is the fastest ride not only in DCA but also Disneyland. Originally branded as California Screaming, but was renamed to the Incredicoaster after the Incredibles movie came out and this area was turned into Pixar Pier, which means you can look forward to seeing some of your favorite characters from the movie Incredibles on this ride and in the queue. In particular, this ride stars Jack-Jack, of whom you're chasing after as you zip through the roller coaster. This ride is one of my personal favorites, and while I have to close my eyes whenever we go upside down in the loop-de-loop, -loop, I always feel nice and secure in this roller coaster. It's very smooth, and you have that over-the-shoulder seatbelt that goes over you, so I've never felt unsafe in this roller coaster. The first two hours of the morning are going to be your best bet for short lines for the Incredicoaster, and then the wait times will slowly hike up and get to its peak in the afternoon and early evening time and then go back down a little bit towards the end of the night. It also offers Genie Plus Lightning Lane, Single Rider, which is a great way to skip the lines in this ride, and Rider Swap. And I say the average standby time usually sits around 35 to 60 minutes for the Incredicoaster on any given day. And don't forget to get that ID number for your souvenir picture that you can claim on your Disney app to save the memories. For number three, we're going to move not too far from the Incredicoaster. That's right, it's drumroll please. 
Midway Mania, another ride that's super duper popular right from the get-go for several reasons. First of all, the Toy Story theme. I mean, who doesn't love Toy Story? Second, you get to play a video game with the people in your car. You get to wear super duper awesome 3D glasses. And fifth, everybody in your family can ride this ride. There are many who claim to be top competitors in this ride game, and I'm not gonna lie, it does feel really good when you beat everybody in your car. You do walk around with your head held a little bit higher when you get off that ride. Now, due to popularity and ride capacity, the lines for this ride get very long really fast, so I tend to rope drop this ride first thing in the morning. It does offer Genie Plus, Lightning Lane, but once the lines get long, they don't go back down. They stay long pretty much for the rest of the day. So if you don't rope drop this ride or do lightning lane, I would plan on no shorter than 45 minute wait for Midway Mania, but probably even 65 minutes. If you want to find out number two, you're going to need to go to where Hollywood Land and Avengers Campus meet. That's where you'll find the second most popular ride of all DCA. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. This is a drop ride with extra flair and storyline to it, so those who have a fear of falling or heights, beware. Now, if you want to see how high you actually go, just look up at the three elevator doors opening at about halfway up the building and you will see. The wait times for this ride can be all over the place. A lot of it depends on if other popular rides are broken down, if the park had early entry for Disney hotel guests. So many factors can affect the wait time at this ride, so it's not very easy to predict exactly when the lines are going to be long or short. It does offer Lightning Lane with Genie Plus, so there's that. Otherwise, you'll be waiting in a line anywhere from 30 minutes to 75 minutes on any given day. The good thing is once you get inside the indoor part of the queue, it's really cool. You start building backstory and then you have the pre-show led by Rocket. Then as you continue through the ride line, the anticipation builds where you eventually get to the gantry lift, find your seat and put your lap belt on and be prepared to have your tummy tickled as you go up and down faster than gravity. I'm gonna sneak on top of your lift and take us all the way to the big old generator control room. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy all the control systems, which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends. And if that wasn't enough for you, you do also get your picture taken in the middle of this experience. Now something to know is during Halloween season, this already popular ride gets even more popular with its evening time Halloween overlay, the Monsters After Dark, which means during Halloween time, you will see wait times for this ride all over the place and sometimes in the triple digits, it can get super crazy. And speaking of seasonal popularity, this ride didn't quite make the list, but it gets very popular during the summertime. The Grizzly River Rapids gets really popular during the hot days of summer for obvious reasons. Usually from afternoon to early evening, it's the busiest and most popular. Finally to number one, which can be found in Cars Land. Have you figured it out yet? Yes, of course, it's Radiator Springs Racers. And I would almost dare to say that it's the most popular ride between both parks. No ride in Disneyland or Disney California Adventure maintains the consistently high wait times like this ride does. Right from the morning, everybody floods straight to the back of Cars Land to hop on this ride, and for good reason. Radiator Springs Racers is themed out from the queue all the way to the end of the ride. With Radiator Springs Racers, you get taken into the American Southwest in a land that's both realistic and fantasy. You get a fast roller coaster type ride, but you also get competition as you race against others. You get a photo op at the end. It is 100% the most popular ride in Disney's California Adventure. Oh, my God. 
And if you wouldn't mind racing over to the like button and giving me a like for this video today, it really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and take care for now.